I found a love for me Well darling just dive right in and follow my lead Well I found a girl beautiful and sweet Well I never knew you were the someone waiting for me Cause we were just kids when we fell in love Not knowing what it was I will not give you up this time well, Darling, just kiss me slow Your heart is all I own And in your eyes you're holding mine Between my arms Barefoot on the grass Listening to our favorite song When you said you looked a mess I whispered underneath my breath But you heard it Darling, you look perfect tonight Sei la mia donna, la forza delle onde del mare, con i miei sogni, i miei segreti, molto di più. Spero che un giorno l'amore che ci ha accompagnato diventi casa, la mia famiglia diventi noi. Siamo sempre bambini, ma nulla è impossibile, stavolta non ti lascerò, mi baci piano ed io torno ad esistere e nel tuo sguardo. Simultaneous consent 
which is given publicly and formally in my presence and in the presence of the persons now here accept each other as your lawful spouse and with the confirmation of this fact by your signature you contract a lawful marriage for other purposes of civil law you should further know that your marriage cannot be dissolved during your lifetime except by a valid judgment of a court if either of you before the death of the other contracts a marriage while this one remains undissolved you would thereby be guilty of bigamy and be liable to the consequences provided by the law. Peter, I want you to repeat after me now by facing Cheryl and holding both hands if you like. I call upon all persons here present. I call upon all persons here present. To witness that I, Peter John Stocker. To witness that I, Peter John Stocker. Accept you, Cheryl Ann Rose. Accept you, Cheryl Ann Rose. As my lawful spouse as my lawful spouse to love and to share with you to love and to share with you as from this day as from this day moments of joy and sorrow moments of joy and sorrow wealth and poverty wealth and poverty happiness and unhappiness happiness and unhappiness throughout our life throughout our life until death to separate us until death do separate us thank you Peter. and you shall now please okay can i hold my eyes <laughs> Thank you. Right. right, get it together. Okay. Take a breath. I call upon all persons here present. I call upon all persons here present. To witness that I, Sherry Ann Rose. To witness that I, Sherry Ann Rose. Accept you, Peter John Stocker. Accept you, Peter John Stocker. <coughs> as my oh, lawful John. spouse. As my lawful spouse. <laughs> to love and to share with you. To love and to share with you. As from this day. As from this day. Moments of joy and sorrow. Moments of joy and sorrow. Wealth and poverty. Wealth and poverty. Happiness and unhappiness. Happiness and unhappiness. Throughout our lives. Throughout our lives. Until death to separate us. Until death to separate us. Thank you very much. Perfect. We are joined together by your free consent in matrimony and your each other love, fidelity and respect throughout your life. This marriage constitutes the fulfillment of your life and links your destinies on good and rainy days in happiness and unhappiness, in wealth and poverty, until death to separate you. On the basis of equality, you should face together all the problems and all the difficulties of life. Together, you should shoulder the burdens of marriage, each one according to your capabilities. You have both the right and obligation to take care of their bringing and education of their children so that they may become useful, good citizens and free personalities. Peter and Cheryl, as from this moment, I pronounce you husband and wife. Good on, Mike. <laughs> Time for the rings. Okay. Okay, you can sit here. Put it on. I don't know. Yes, please. Yeah. Good yeah. yeah. you go, mate. <laughs> you have to shove it a bit. It's a bit too much to swallow up. <laughs> God, we can get that one you make it well, right. I already have. <laughs> Love you. Love you too. Everyone, please congratulate our couple. <laughs> <laughs>
Congratulations, I wish you all the best. Thank you. Thank you. This is your marriage certificate. Oh, I think you need this. And this is a small gift from us, from the town hall. Oh, thank you. So thank you for choosing couples for your wedding and remembering your day. And we'll, show the love and we'll, we'll do it again one day, don't worry. We'll be back. <laughs> renewal of vows, okay, yes. <laughs> renewal of vows. Yeah, yeah. renewal, yeah, not yeah, somebody else. <laughs> thank you very much. Remember I'll remember you. Yeah, I'll, I won't bring five <laughs> grand either. Please congratulate Mr. and Mrs. Tucker. You right? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> 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 On the time in the world, time enough for life to unfold all the precious things love has in store. We have all the love in the world. If that's all we have, you will find we need nothing more. Every step of the way will find us with the care.
Cyprus, welcome to this amazing venue as we celebrate this afternoon. Cyprus Dream Weddings. Sorry? Cyprus Dream Weddings. Cyprus Dream Weddings, is that what I said? I thought you did. Oh, it's all big and Saturday, DJ. On behalf of Kerry and the team at Cyprus Dream Weddings, welcome to this amazing venue, thank you. Uh, as we celebrate this afternoon with Cheryl and John, ladies and gentlemen, can I get you to be upstanding as we welcome in our bride and groom? Ladies and gentlemen, it's Mr. and Mrs. Stocker. It's time to hear from Jeff. Hello. Hello. I don't need it anyway. I don't. I don't. I don't need it. Um. Everyone. Yes. No. No. Yes. No. Don't. Don't. I want you to do it. Okay. Right. Okay, people, just to let you know, I'm a blubber. I cry a lot, okay? <clears throat> right. Just to set, set the scene a little bit, um, some years ago, um, my daughter told me she got a new bloke, and he's quite nice. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's, she said he's quite nice. Um, and we'd never met him. I said, Well, when are we going to see him then? And uh, she said, um, Soon. Well, it was a few weeks later, and it was close to Christmas. No, it was Christmas Day. Oh, it was Christmas Day. Sorry, Christmas Day. And uh, it came up, you know, well, when are we going to meet John? And she said, He's outside. So, what do you mean he's outside? He just phoned me, he's waiting outside. Well, get the bugger in here. <laughs> so he came, he came in. Now, um, most people, they've got this thing about 30 seconds, whether you like someone or dislike them. Well, it took me about five seconds thinking, he's okay. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> only okay, though. Yeah, only, only okay. Then, then things started to, to progress a bit more and they were going out a bit more and they were liking each other a lot more. Um, I think quite a lot more. Um, <coughs> and then one fateful day, um, my future son-in-law um, took me to one side and I'll, just, just to let you know, no, you're fine, you're fine. That, um, he, took, he, he, took, he took me to one side and said, can I have your daughter's hand in marriage? And he is regretting asking me that at that point. Because 
this is true. This is absolutely true. I shat myself. <laughs> Did I not? I shat myself. And he, I, he was standing there thinking, bloody hell. What have I let myself in for? But, you know, fr from, from, there, from then on, um, John, John was starting to become a part of the family. Um, and um, we then started to meet some of John's family. Um, not, not, all, not all of you, but, you know, some of you. And I thought, the ones that we did, mate, I mean, you're all right. So if they're all right, the rest of them must be all right. And I hope they think that we're all right, but they don't know us <laughs> yet. Um, but Shell, John, oh, let, let's call him Man John. Yay! Yeah. Um, cat John. No, cat John. The cat John's still in the UK. I know. John's yeah. In the UK. But um, John, Cheryl, Cheryl, John, um, John, welcome to our family. Um, um, <laughs> this is it. Glasses, please. Well done, Good, I'll put it down then. Um, no, so, so first of all, thanks everybody for coming here and know what this has done and taken so much time and effort to get over here and we both really appreciate it, my ex-girlfriend and I. Um, <laughs> sorry, babe. That was cheesy. <laughs> it was, yes, that was a bit cheesy, but do you know what? I read it somewhere and I thought, that sounds quite funny. I think, I think Paul told me that, actually. Um, I'm just amazed that, not the, just the location and what people have put into this, but just by the love that I feel in the room now. I know we're not in a room, but I love my new bride so much, and I'll walk to the end of the year for her. And she's made me the happiest I've ever been. There's, there's a few people that I want to thank. Um, first of all, MasterCard and Visa. Uh, <laughs> for sponsoring the event and my wife and I will be forever in their debt. Um, I want to thank the bridesmaids for helping out with Cheryl and Ollie, my best man, that's been helping out with me this morning. Cheryl's mum and dad. Um, everybody just for coming really. It's just so, I'm overwhelmed by the turnout for tonight. And the people that are here are the ones that we want to be here. And you're all here for a reason. It's because we love you all. We love you. We love you too. We love you. And that's really all I've got to say. I, I actually had a speech written out and I've left it in my bedroom. <laughs> so to be honest, I've just winged it from now on. This huh? is the best one, yeah. No, I, I, I kind of told, no, I didn't tell Ollie earlier, no. Okay. Otherwise, Ollie would have bought it with him. But I did say I was shaking so much that I couldn't actually read what I'd written. So I just thought, no, nah, fuck it, oh, sorry, um, sorry, I'll wing it. So I have, but I really hope you all have a really lovely evening and I just want to make a toast to my beautiful bride. So, to Cheryl. Mrs. Mrs. Stocker. I know she has. And she has got to put up with the Stocker family now. <laughs> I've lost all trail of thought now. Um, right, uh, I just want to say well done to John for actually getting some words out. When we were talking about it earlier, it wasn't looking too good. But yeah, it's come out all right. It's come out all Not right. Not at all. No. So uh, for those that don't know me, obviously most of you now do know me as Ollie. Yeah, brilliant. Um, <laughs> I'm Ollie. I'm the son John never really had, to be honest. Two daughters. I come along 16 years ago and, yeah, took me under his wing, really. Um, when I met Ashley, my wife, um, 
John's daughter for the first time and obviously the stories Ashley told me about John and his upbringing and everything like that. I think my ass fell out of my shorts. Um, and then when he pulled up on the driveway in his bright BMW when he wasn't supposed to, I kind of didn't know what to do. Um, but actually, later on, it turned out he was all right and a bit of a cuddly teddy bear as well. Why did you get to know him? Lots of well, there is a bit there, isn't there? Um, over, oh, over the years, obviously, um, families get older, they move apart, and uh, the, well, I would normally touch upon his height, but he's a bit touchy about that, um, so we're not going to go there. Um, but whenever me or Ashley used to call, I, I don't know, I don't know. Whenever me and Ashley or Chantel used to call on him, he'd do anything or everything for us. Drive a couple of hours to pick Isaac up because we're working and stuff like that. So I really do uh, thanks for that. Um, when John said he was asked Cheryl to marry, we were very happy, actually, um, that he's actually found someone that makes him happy and can control him a little, <laughs> little bit because we know what he's like. Um, but the biggest shock to me was when he asked me to be best man. It kind of came out of the blue. And um, I didn't think that it would be me. But, yeah, I do have to admit he did ask the best man for the job. So, you know, it's uh, not, a, not a difficult decision on that one. Um, so when he said, obviously, he was getting married out here, I thought, well, that's not bad. I was thinking, sun, beer, swimming. But at the moment, it's been a bit of sun, beer, and some shirty security guard that's probably standing the other side of the door. Um, but it's been, and I'll be honest, it's been quite a good little holiday. And seeing both of you very, very happy, smiling, and yeah, all day, it's been great. And uh, I don't think I've... Actually, I've seen John shed a cheer once when me and Ashley got married, but yeah. today it was the second time. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, finally, obviously John touched upon it, and he said thank you to everyone coming out. What a turnout. Like, I have to admit, we're four hours on the plane. COVID has been, yeah, I'm not going to say the word because of kids. Um, but yeah, it's not been great. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for all of you for making the effort to come out to the wedding um, on John and Cheryl's behalf, obviously. And uh, lastly, I would like to say, um, I would like everybody to stand up, yep. raise their glass and uh, wish John and Cheryl a very, very happy future together. Yeah. John and Cheryl. John and Cheryl. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks, Cheers. Cheers, Cheryl. He's, he's a professional kind of tire wrapper of bridesmaid dresses, though. So many skills, this guy. Um, so mine is generally all about John. Everyone has done the thank yous and yeah and. and I feel the same and yeah, I'm amazed by everyone being here and really appreciate everyone and love you all. And you were all invited here for a reason because you were the most special people in our lives. So let's get down to it. Peter John Stocker. <laughs> Am I under arrest now? <laughs> Nobody ever calls me Peter unless it's the police. <laughs> AKA Man John. And for anyone that doesn't know why it's called Man John, it's because when John met me, we have got, a, I already had a cat called John. <laughs> so the cat was then called Cat John and Man John called Man John. And you call the cat John, he don't answer, he'll go, he has to be called Cat John. So, and the same for, for John as well. <laughs> Just a little bit of background there. So. I'll take <laughs> So for me, don't ever change, because you are perfect in every way, seriously. Um, as little and cute as you are, 
Um, you're a force to be reckoned with for everyone, in everyone in our lives, whether it be your family, my family, it's your everything to everybody. Nothing is too big a job for you. You'll just be like, no, yep, we're doing that. And yeah, so you're amazing. Hang on, my phone's locked. Um, so when it comes down to us, we've got something pretty damn special. As I now realise that the tough times that we've had and we fought it united more than I've ever experienced. We've got, no, well, sorry, we're on the best team I've ever been picked for. We laugh and love and on note to each other. We just get each other. The triggers of how to put things back together or if need be, put a plaster on it and move on like a Trojan couple. My man, John, I'm all yours forever. That's kind of that. <laughs> I'm my best. And I'm all yours. <laughs> and then um, maybe uh, one not last little thing. So we've got a couple of little gifts. Obviously, the bridesmaids have had their necklaces today. The, the groomsmen have had their watches. And uh, Kerry. I've got a little gift for you, one this one. So, Kerry, you need to come and get yours. <laughs> so I found this and it was like really apt for a wedding planner. So I'll pass it over to you in just a second, but I'll tell you what it says. Thank you for everything you did to make our wedding day perfect in every way. We will never forget your positive energy and hard work. We couldn't have done it without you. We are so grateful to have found you absolutely tenfold. Oh, thank you. Bless you. That's lovely. Right. A little something Thanks, for you. Thank Can you. I tell you a little bit, something, a little bit about, uh, uh, about Kerry? Oh, God. Because I'm, a, because, I'm a, <laughs> because I'm a blubber, she said, I've got just the word for you to stop you from blubbing. Banana. Just keep saying banana. <laughs> banana. Yeah, it, it, works every time. And it works. It works every time. Yeah. Banana, 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 banana. Yeah. <laughs> And the other one. Oh, sorry, baby. Thank you. Thank you very much. That was very kind. Legend. Honest to God. It's teamwork. I just want to kiss you. Yeah. John. Cannot fault you in any way. You're like Mary Poppins, to be fair. Mary Poppins? Yes. yes. <laughs> Mary Blooming Poppins. And then to Mum, again, I found this, and it was, this is very apt. Um, when I was a little girl, you taught me right from wrong. No matter what... I chose to do, your love for me was strong. Years and years of support, you've been there through it all. To share in my, in my victories and catch me when I fall, I want to thank you for all the ways that you've cared. Please know I'll always need you and the lessons that you still share. Now I'm all grown up, dressed in silk and pearls, but even on my wedding day I'm still your little girl. I love you. And I was I've seen my, my dad, dad as well, well but Cheers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, Thank you, Cheers. Thank you so much. Does that improve when she hit you with a jam jar? Shut yeah. up. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, this yeah. is a bit spontaneous. Um, Did you video this or not? I haven't planned this, I haven't really thought well, I have put quite a lot of thought the last ten minutes. Um <laughs> so I met Susie last night for the first time. Hi. She's not getting married though. No, I know. Oh, okay. And got on so well with her and I thought I've been thinking about it for weeks, for months. Why did Cheryl choose this girl? Why did she choose us? Because we're legends. Yeah. <laughs> she's freaking right. Yeah, we're so similar. We're so similar. And she saw you through your early years, and then and when I was 11, and I met you, and I can just see why you chose us both. Did she? Thanks. 
special. <laughs> and we're so proud of you, and we love you, and we're so thankful for John and the love that he brings you. And we're just so proud, and we're so thankful. Oh, thank you, Bobby. That was special.